Signs, how you guys doing? Hope you're having a great day. This is for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We did have a wonderful beginning kickoff to the spiritual business class last night. That was super awesome. Lots of great questions. You guys are really amazing. We are going to be doing another business, uh, another beginners, right, to try and figure out your idea or what you want to do, what your path is. Okay, we're going to be doing um, one or two more rounds of that. So we'll let you know when that's going to happen. Definitely later in October, um, possibly November or both. Okay, all right, let's see where we go here. The October uh, single or uh, not single, uh, individual zodiac sign readings are going to be up on Patreon for each zodiac sign October 2nd. All right, so just so you know, that's when that happens. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on for you here? What is going on for you? Clean it up. Mm-hmm. Something that can't stand. Ah, Treasure Island, look at you. Wow, look at that. Okay, poise. This is a beginning, a new beginning. Uh, you're cleaning some stuff out of your life. Okay, um, either somebody needs to go, uh, they're like weighing you down, or something has been just, you know, holding you back. Okay, it's time to let go of that, whatever it is. Unhealthy habits or blocks around money. I feel like that's a big one for some of you. Blocks around money are really holding you back because um, something so much better wants to come in. Okay. Something so much better. Yeah, The Fool. New beginnings. I like it. <laughs> I like that. The Fool makes me happy, right? It's like, woo, coming in. Knight of Pentacles. There's Virgo energy here. Six of Wands. Hierophant. Okay, Taurus energy. So you can be overcoming, that's Virgo and Taurus, um, overcoming some blocks around money, all right? <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, right there smack in the middle, Five of Swords. All right, I feel like you have, you might have settled for something, Four of Pentacles. You might have settled, um, could be moving on to a new beginning after a divorce or something, and you might feel like you settled uh, because you figure out that somebody manipulated you, okay? Um fate and destiny step in eight of swords check that out look at that card eight of swords ten of swords yeah something is definitely over ace of cups the fool and ace of cups let's just focus on the good shall we okay um i feel like it's an end to a marriage an end to a relationship hierophant here uh, I do feel like this person that you're dealing with could be a Taurus or a Virgo. They feel like they've, uh, or Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Sag. We'll look at that in the extended, okay? Um, I think, I feel like they think that they've gotten one over on you. I don't see, um, the Five of Swords is kind of a big deal here. Um, and you could feel at peace but um, when the Wheel of Fortune um, shows up and you're feeling like the Five of Swords, I'm just feeling like you may think better of feeling like, oh, I, I really got, I got out of this. It's good. There's something about the Treasure Island thing. You see how the Hierophant is in the boat? All right. Um, something about unloading a burden. They feel like they've unloaded a burden, okay? But they could have gotten one over on you in terms of money. I mean, that's a terrible thing to say. I feel like I've unloaded a burden, offloaded a burden. I've overcome, I've won. This person feels like they won, okay? And the five of swords here. So there's this eight and 10 of swords. It's like you, you gotta realize that this is done. This relationship is done. The universe wants to move you forward. The fool is what's happening, right? The universe wants to move you forward into something new. Ace of Cups coming along. But there's this recognition that, oh, wow. I settled for something. I should have asked for more.
right? Five of Swords. So uh, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay, here's the deal. So this person is dealing with a Sag. Somebody's dealing with a Sag here. A Sag, Aries, Leo, a fire sign. And I feel like you didn't know this. This person um, that you're dealing with may be an earth sign. Okay. And this relationship had to end with you so they could be together. All right. I feel like you didn't know this. And you figure it out, though. Once you're like, okay, I'm at peace with this. And then it's like, oh, I, I, I recognize that this person has another person. I don't think you knew that. All right. A fire sign. I don't think you knew that. Um, so three of swords, say a king of wands, king of pentacles. This person's a Taurus or a Virgo that you could have been dealing with in the past. Taurus, Virgo, Sag. And um, the person they're dealing with is a fire sign. Okay. So this is a new, when it's done, it's like completed. It's done. And the realization doesn't come through to you until after like the set, after the papers are signed and everything, right? It's, it's D U N. Um, so wheel of fortune is when the moment in time, when it's fully, com it's a fait accompli. Okay. Judgment. Seven of swords. Queen of Wands, yes, the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. They've they have a fire sign that they have been um, cheating with. All right, fire sign. They've been cheating with a fire sign, and Judgment Day. It's like that's when things come to home to roost. All right, when things are revealed, and this person has been um, either che someone's been cheating with a fire sign, and that secret's going to come out. Boy, that has been a really loud storyline today. Okay. Um, I feel like there's something the the other person has this idea around it, it's a spiritual connection or somebody has an idea that it's a twin flame connection. Okay, the, the earth and the fire person. But your ace of sword or ace of cups here, I like this, all right, because there's now a new day. It's almost like don't dwell too much in that. It's over, it's done. Ace of Cups. Don't dwell too much on the past here. Yep, world. You're birthing something new. I like it. The world card there, endings and new beginnings, death, endings, total endings, empress. Okay, empress, three of swords, four of cups. If you stay in the hurt, okay, three of swords and four of cups. If you stay stuck in this hurt, then um, you're not going to go anywhere. You are the empress here. You're ready to move forward. There's a, um, a new relationship that wants to show up for you, okay? You can't dwell too much in this past because there's something trying to be born. See, she's like nine months pregnant. The baby comes when the baby comes, all right? The baby does what the baby damn well wants to do, all right? There's no like, oh, wait a second, hold on a minute. I've got to go back and reorient myself around this. It's like, let it go. And I don't mean like, oh, don't, don't, um, I don't mean shove it down, don't pay attention to it. What I mean is like, okay, this person did that. Yep. Yep. You're now aware of it. Okay. And it's time to release and let it go. So it can be in this full moon that is coming up, full moon, October 1st, Aries. Um, it is about that be bold, be brave kind of moment of I'm going to just release this and let it go. I'm going to clean this out of my, um, you know, sort of out of my, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, my aura, right? I'm going to cleanse my aura, see how she's doing yoga and things like that. Um, you may have come to this realization by meditating and things and things along those lines. Um, you may have come to that belief that, oh, oh, maybe that's why they let go so easily or they didn't put up a fight or something like that. Maybe that's why. Okay. So 
the queen of wands is here, the queen, the fire sign. All right. So now we have to, you know, move on. I mean, as, as difficult as it sounds, if you don't move on, you're going to get stuck in the hurt and pain. And that's one of the lessons of this relationship. I feel like getting stuck in hurt and pain is what this relationship has been all about. Eight of Swords. You felt imprisoned by it, and now it's over. Okay, now it's over. It's time to, to let it go. It's time to enjoy what's going to be coming up here. The, um, the, the world and the Empress. There's both a very um, um, fertile time coming up. There's an opportunity for love and abundance of all kinds. But the lesson here is don't dwell on this. Don't get stuck in it because that could really mess it up. That could mess up the moving forward. Okay. Yep. They did that. Okay. The, the divorce papers have been signed. There's nothing really I can do about it. Okay. We'll explore a little bit more in the extended. Now I'm seeing the fire sign here. I feel like this person is a Virgo or a Taurus or a Sag. They have a fire sign. Okay. That they lied about. They have a fire sign that they lied about. All right. So let's see where we go. The link is below for you if you want to continue on with this reading. I will look at those uh, those signs, those zodiac signs, and I will also explore this Ace of Cups more about what's coming ahead. Because the whole point of this is don't stand in the yuck of the past. Okay? That's the whole point of this reading. All right. Link is below for you if you want to continue on. I'll see you over there.